My previous video is about Marsha P. Johnson. Following on from that, I wanted to make a video about one of her friends who I mentioned in the video called Sylvia Rivera, who is also a massive inspiration to me. Sylvia was born in 1951 and went on to meet Marsha when she was only at age 12. Sylvia started being an activist at age 18. She joined the Gay Activist Alliance in 1970, the year after the riots at the Stonewall Inn. For many years, Sylvia battled addiction and lived amongst the homeless at the Christopher Street docks. It was also in the year 1970, when Sylvia was just 18, that she co-founded Star with Marsha P. Johnson. Star gave a home to trans and gay youth who were previously living on the streets. Marsha and Sylvia were sex workers, which is how they funded this operation. They used the money they earned from sex work to pay the rent for the Star House and keep these children off the streets. Sylvia Rivera dedicated her life for, to fighting for LGBT plus folk, especially those of low income and people of colour. She fought against systematic racism and poverty. She amplified the voices of those most vulnerable, including gay inmates, homeless youth, and the transgender community. Sylvia played a key role in the fight for the Sexual Orientation Non-Discrimination Act in New York City. However, following the 1973 Pride March, Sylvia Rivera left the activism scene. She moved to the suburbs where she continued being herself and performing. She never forgave the Pride movement for ignoring trans people. However, after her friend Marsha P. Johnson was murdered, she moved back to the city of New York. This is when she got taken in by the Transy House in Brooklyn, which was modelled after Star. This is when Sylvia performed the enormous feat of sobering up cold turkey and when she returned to activism. She did this by packing food parcels in a local church. In 2001, Sylvia resurrected Star, now called the Street Transgender Action Revolutionaries. Star fought for the Trans Bill of Rights in New York City, as well as sponsoring street pressures for justice for murdered trans women, such as Amanda and Milan, in, two, in the year 2000. Sylvia Rivera died of liver cancer in 2003, but the lessons that she taught us and the inspiration she put out into the world still live on to this day.